Be sure to buy your copy of Before the Badge, everything you need to know before you become a cop. Available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and wordsmatterpublishing.com. Video posted on social media of four female Chicago police officers attempting to arrest a suspected shoplifter has sparked backlash over the department's health and fitness standards. Footage shows the four Chicago police officers approaching the suspect as he emptied out his pockets when they start to detain him. The four officers pinned the suspect against a wall, but were still unable to get the handcuffs on him. Police scanner audio revealed one of the officers defeatedly asking for backup during the incident. She sounded out of breath. He went all day running. All day on that thing from 95th Street. The video sparked outrage online, and commenters questioned if the fitness abilities of the officers limited their ability to arrest the man. What are your thoughts on this? All right, I'm going to put in my two cents. I'm going to go in an absolutely pop, unpopular direction for a second that's going to offend a lot of you out there. Number one, this is the pro police view. I know for certain that these cops are not being backed up by the department, meaning that if four women, we'll get, to, we'll get to the reality of the subject in a second, if four female officers who are supposedly trained or whatnot, maybe it's four because you got two in FTO and they've got trainees with them, so that's we are actually fighting with other cops when you go into that shit. Or maybe it's just four because Chicago does like to sit there and over-amp their presence on the streets. You can get one traffic stop with 17 fucking squads there. I never understood that crap. But, um... I do know damn well that when it comes down to people, especially black subjects, that cops are afraid to go hands-on and use the proper force necessary to affect and arrest. You can go look at forcescienceinstitute.com, and there's a study on their website that shows that when it comes down to uh, uh, the interaction or use of force, the engagement of use of force, that there's a, there's a time gap. Like, uh, uh, whatever, 0.5 seconds, a uh, 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 cop will use force on a, um, on a on a white subject at 0.5 seconds of interaction or what are determining, but a cop will hesitate to 0 0.7, 0 0.10, 0 0.12 seconds or whatever it is when it comes down to a black subject, which means that their heads are all fucked up because they know the department's not going to have my back. Let's have the other end of the spectrum. Shittiest candidates are on the street lately, and I don't know any of the cops in this video. I, this is complete conjecture. This is, I don't, I just don't care, but we have to talk about reality. It's been my experience, and I've talked about this before because it goes both with men and women, but it goes with women. I have worked with a few, a few female cops who, man, I want on my, I, oh my God, one of my closest friends was a female cop, and my God, I would take her in a war any day of the week and twice on Sunday. Another officer that I got to know later on in my career, female, same thing. I've known far too many female cops out there that they cause problems on scene with their mouths and their attitudes because they think that they're owed a different type of respect or they think that they're not being taken seriously by the subject on the street, which they're probably not. And they have 500 pounds of mouth and 100 pounds of body and they expect the cavalry to show up and clean up the mess that they started. And if that pisses you off, sorry, ladies. Some of you know you're exactly fucking like that. Another thing is, I just talked about this with Mike Brown on a live the other day. Anytime we taught defensive tactics for female cops, you'd go into a classroom and you'd say, hey, who could take me into custody by, my, by themselves? And not one, no, I just, I just can't. Their mindset is defeated. Any room I walk into, doesn't matter how big the person is, how many there are. I'm the only one fucking walking out. And that's a mentality I have. But sadly, not a lot of female cops have that mindset. Then we have diversity hire. We have fitness standards difference. If you know the basic bullshit shit for uh, cops, it's a bench press, a mile and a half run, a sit and reach and sit-ups. Guys who are between the ages of 21 and I think 30 have to bench like seven, 90, 95 per 97% of their, uh, their body weight. Women have to do like 60 or 70 something. It's just a fucking double standard that's always been the case. Not knocking these women who are cops, but you couldn't get the job done with four of you and you're asking for more. Again, I can say this because at times I was. Are you fat and lazy? Are you undertrained? Is your mindset not the right way? Is there a reason why this is? Is your command? Are you going through your head? Shit. I can't take a black subject into custody by using force because the police command, they're not going to back me up. 
Are any of these things the cases? Again, it's a dynamic, flowing situation. I go back and forth all the time with whether or not females should be cops. In this case, I don't know anymore. I truly don't. I think that they should bring things back like uh, height standards. When I was a kid, anybody under 5'8 couldn't become a cop. I almost couldn't become. They changed that rule. They implemented college for police officers, which is stupid. You get a bunch of book-educated liberal morons on the street who have no street smarts whatsoever. I think we need to go back to having a decade of just police presence uh, that is commanded righteously, because you command staff are all fucked up too, but you need to have brutes on the street who do have compassion at the same time. So they need to pound brutes with compassion and the Constitution getting back on your street so that maybe you do have some thugs who can think like the citizens and they'll stop thinking like fucking order takers who violate constitutional rights and maybe we won't have problems like this in the first place. That's it. See you guys in the next video. Be safe out there.